Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mario back again with another YouTube video. Today's video, guys, I am going to talk about how to buy land in the metaverse, the sandbox metaverse. Now, as we all know, after Facebook changed their name to Meta, this whole crazy uh, rush into buying digital virtual land, uh, all sorts of metaverses in terms of like the sandbox, the central land. Uh, there's even uh, so many, there's so many metaverse out there. Uh, so there's been a rush for people to invest in this land and they've been able to 10x their money. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I was able to 10x my money investing in the metaverse land, the sandbox. So I'm going to go over details and how I did that, guys. Um, you know, it took a lot of research. It took a lot of detail learning more about what's going on in the space. But I'm going to give you guys some input and in how I did it and what I was looking for and what made me didn't make the decisions. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna go over all those steps. If you have any questions, guys, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comments. And again, please support this channel and smash that like button and also subscribe down below, guys. I do post videos every single week talking about the metaverse, uh, virtual land, NFTs, all that good stuff, guys, all on this YouTube channel. So don't sleep on it, guys, subscribe to this channel, okay? Let me share my screen, guys, and let's get started, okay? So what I'm gonna do, guys, I am gonna share my screen um, and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you guys can kind of take a look at me as I go over this video. So this is the sandbox. The sandbox is part of the metaverse. Uh, and here in the sandbox, you are actually able to buy land. Now, the way it looks like, if I click here on map, um, it kind of takes you to the world and kind of shows you how the world looks like. So I'm gonna kind of just zoom out uh, right here, just to kind of show you how the whole world looks like, the whole sandbox world looks like. Um, and it is a little bit slow, so bear with me, guys. But every single little parcel here represents a digital land, you know, virtual land. Uh, whether you want to call it virtual land, augmented land, you may be able to do some of that stuff. Uh, but it is a virtual reality or virtual land or digital land in the metaverse. Uh, so this is pretty much how the world looks like. Um, the uh, Sandbox has been issuing land for the last uh, couple of months, uh, for the last like two or three years, and it's been open for everybody to buy some. Now, there is a second market. There's a second open market, OpenSea, where you're able to buy some lands. I do own some land, and I actually own it right here, and I'm going to show you guys. So right here, where it says right here, my lands. I'm going to click on right here and it should filter through and show us where my land is located. Uh, so let's give it a second. And here it is. Boom. Right there. This land right here. Boom. I click on it. Uh, you guys will see it. Uh, Super M. That's me right here. Um, and it'll show you that I own it. Now I could also see it here. If I click here, my profile, uh, I click here profile. It will show. see I am Super M right here. And if I scroll down, it will just say that I own this land right here. So uh, this is the virtual land that I, that I got, that I own. And in terms of when I bought it, this is the tricky part, guys. Um, I did a lot of research uh, in terms of different virtual reality lands or the metaverse, different metaverses like the Sandbox, the Central Land, uh, Somnium Space, um, and others. But... The reason why I decided to purchase some sandbox, these sandbox, because at the time, over six months ago, it was actually the most affordable one. Um, and I actually wanted to buy some, um, some actually some, uh, this central land. So let me show you guys here. This is uh, OpenSea. So in terms of OpenSea, if you guys scrolled, uh, actually, I'm going to, again, this is my account on OpenSea. If I click here in profile, I'll take you guys to my account. Again, this is the same land, negative 158.9. If I go back to Sandbox, again, you'll see negative 128.9, uh, negative 128.9. Again, if I click on it, it will say uh, it is owned by you. And that's, of course, as referring to me. So let me show you guys right here. Really quick. See, it says owned by you, and that's me because I am logged into this uh, OpenSea using my MetaMask account. So I'm going to kind of go back to when I bought this. I did buy this uh, six months ago, on specifically on May 29th. 
and I bought it for 0 0.33 Ethereum. So uh, this is where things get interesting, guys, because when I bought it, um, you know, Ethereum was also more affordable. Um, and I believe Ethereum was going for $800 uh, a share back in the day. So if I were to, let me see, open up uh, an Ethereum, actually, let me open up an Ethereum graph so you guys can kind of see that. Actually, here, I'm going to go right here to Ethereum here on CoinGecko. And I'm going to show you guys how much Ethereum was back in May. So I am going to show you guys one year ago, back in May, Ethereum was around $2,400, uh, around 2000 So, you know, if you think about it, let's just put um, 2400 times 0.33. So it was around $800 uh, that it cost me to buy this, this parcel of land. And honestly, I started buying Ethereum when Ethereum was even lower. I started buying Ethereum like beginning of 2020. So Ethereum back then was even lower, was, was you know, let me see max price here in Ethereum. So in 2020, Ethereum was going around $100, $200 a, a, an Ethereum coin. And I started buying little by little dollar cost averaging since 2020. So in terms of percentage gains, I mean, I definitely made actually more than 10x. So going back to, of course, when I got Ethereum, so again, back in the day, Ethereum was worth, this preserve 0.33 of Ethereum was worth around $800. Right now, in terms of the market and how it looks uh, for this parcel of land, right now, I have uh, the highest bid is offering me zero, um, 2.81 wrap Ethereum. Wrap Ethereum is pretty much Ethereum, but in the Polygon uh, network, which allows you to kind of save money on, uh, gas fees, but it's Ethereum. So, and that's equivalent to $11,898. So we're talking about more than 10X my money. Um, you know, so that is huge guys. So the virtual reality land or the virtual space and metaverse represents a huge investing opportunity. And there's a lot of benefits from it. And I'm going to go over why, because this happened recently. Uh, one of them was because, of course, when uh, Facebook changed their name to Meta and they were mentioning they were focusing on all their energy investment on the Metaverse, that just kind of enlightened everything and everybody went crazy and started buying every single virtual land they can and the sandbox happened to be one of them. Uh, and again, that is something that you cannot predict. But, you know, one of the things that I did, I started researching on virtual land and what I could buy because of the central land, because the central land uh, was one of the ones that they actually first started. So the central land, uh, if I were to kind of click on the central land, um, you know, it was kind of already selling for, for like over one Ethereum per parcel of land. So if I were to click on recently sold, um, you know, you can see that the central land is selling for similar prices right now, 2.8, uh, uh, you know, Ethereum per parcel of land. Uh, so the central line was actually went live before the sandbox. Sandbox hasn't officially gone live. They're going to have an alpha test beginning on Monday, but they haven't really fully gone live. And uh, the central line is the only metaverse. Uh, one of the metaverse has gone fully live. And now their stuff is selling for Ethereum. So what I noticed that uh, the central line's land was selling for over Ethereum, I knew that the sandbox pretty soon, once they start going live, their, their price per, per unit of land is going to go up. Uh, so either similar to Ethereum or very close to it. So that was my reasoning. That was my logic behind it. And that's the reason why I bought uh, the Sandbox. Now, I wanted to buy more, but actually I wanted to buy the Central Land. I was waiting for the Central Land's price to go down, but they haven't. They actually only went up. Uh, and, and that's unfortunate. But now, now for those who want to buy uh, land, uh, you know, by, by the sandbox, some sandbox land, it is a quite more expensive now, actually. Um, you know, and I'm going to show you guys how much more expensive it is because even though someone is bidding me 2.81 Ethereum, which is around 11, $12,000, the people who are actually selling the land right now for you to buy actually selling it for $14,000. Um, so if I were to click and buy land, Again, it's, it's going to take me straight to OpenSea. And here, uh, you guys will see Sandbox, Buy Now. These are sellers who own land 
in the central land who are willing to sell right now. And right now they're selling it right here. If I were to click right here on this one, this is actually the most affordable. They're selling it for 1,901 cent token, uh, which is equivalent to $14,000 um, in US dollars. Of course, some people have been offering wrap Ethereum. So, but this guy is selling it. So if you want to buy a land now, this is how much right now will cost you. So, you know, in my land, I mean, if I th were to think about it, I think one parcel of the sandbox is probably worth three Ethereum, you know, personally. Uh, you know, if I were to go back here and go to, uh, let's see, recently sold. Let me see, go to a recently sold. You will see that actually some of this land has been selling for four Ethereum. See that last sold for four Ethereum, last sold for three. Uh, some of this uh, sold for around, yeah, two. But this actually, the last time one of this sold was for four Ethereum. And this guy is selling it for 10 Ethereum, which is around $42,000, which is pretty insane. So the last time this thing sold, it was for four Ethereum. And you can see the, the price action right here. So sale was actually 25 days ago, um, excuse me, uh, 10 minutes ago, someone just sold this for 4.1 Ethereum from this person to this person. So for Ethereum, if I were to convert for Ethereum, we were looking at $17,000. It literally sold for $17,000. So, so I guess the question is why all the hype? Why all the hype on the sandbox? And, and actually, there's a lot of hype in the sandbox. If, if you were to go to rankings right now, sandbox right now is the number one NFT that is being traded in the whole open sea marketplace. The, you know, it used to be uh, CryptoPunks. CryptoPunks was actually up there for, for a very long time. Then uh, the Board Ape Yacht Club, um, Board Ape Yacht Club was actually up there for a long time, but the sandbox now took over. And there's a reason why, guys. There's a reason why. And it's because of the alpha, the alpha, uh, alpha, uh, actually the, the alpha. So uh, actually, let me kind of go over what the alpha means and what is, is going on with this alpha stuff. Um, so actually, let me click here and learn about the alpha. So welcome to the alpha. The alpha is the first official play to earn release of the sandbox. Get the alpha pass to play and earn a thousand sand and cool NFT rewards. So now the metabot, excuse me, the sandbox is participating in the play to earn world where you can actually play in the sandbox, play games and earn uh, tokens, which tokens are worth money. You know, if I were to go to uh, the sandbox token, sand token is actually worth now, uh, let's see, it's $7.61, it's up 41%. And I don't know, like in the what, 20, last 24 hours? I'm not sure, I believe so. Uh, yeah, in the last 24 hours, the sand, the sand token is up 41%. In the last seven days, let's see, last seven days. Actually, it doesn't really tell me the last seven days, but it's up 41%. I believe that's just today. Um, but if I were to put a year, the, once again, Facebook, you know, which changed their name to Meta, talked about the metaverse, it literally just skyrocketed like seven times the price of the, of the sandbox. So if you're able to play in the, the sandbox and and earn tokens which are worth money, of course, this is huge. So in order for you to, um, I guess you guys participate in the alpha and earn um, tokens, you have to actually have the alpha pass. In order for you to actually earn an alpha pass, you need to own some land. You need to own some land. So, um, and that's what it's where it gets, you know, this is complicated. So how to get an alpha pass? Uh, Landowners can register to the raffle and get a chance to win an alpha pass. Uh, daily creator contest by participating in daily contests in the alpha hub, and everyone can get a chance to win an alpha pass. Keep an eye on the sandbox news and social medias to participate. OpenSea, anyone can buy an alpha pass on OpenSea if someone is willing to sell it. So, right now, I have actually already registered. I do own some land. Um, so, let me kind of go to uh, actually, yeah, let me go to alpha. If I click here, see, I'm already registered. This is my avatar. So beginning Monday, uh, that's when the alpha begins. Um, and I want to play it. I want to see if I, so on Monday, they're going to tell you who won the raffle and who won those alpha passes. So I already have two tickets 
I'm already I'm gonna reg I'm already registered. Are you are registered uh, for the raffle with two tickets? And the reason why is because uh, again, you get one ticket for registering, and you get one ticket for each land that you own. And I only own one. Now, if I knew about this, I would have bought two or three. <laughs> but of course, I didn't know this. It's type of type of stuff that almost you have to anticipate, guys. So what I'm saying, guys, a lot of the NFT space, a lot of the, the crypto space, you have to do your research. That's the only way to get the 10x or more gains. Do your research. Be early. Be one of the first ones. And you kind of have to hold. Again, it took me, I guess you could say, it was over six months to really get these gains. Because they didn't just happen, you know, uh, it just, it, it actually kind of happened really quick. So, but it was doing research, doing a lot of videos. And I have several videos posted on top that I did about the sandbox, about me purchasing the virtual land. I have them all up there. So I recommend you to take a look at those. Uh, but I did, again, I did the research. I bought the land because I believe in the project. And then finally, I was getting paid. I mean, now I don't plan on selling the land, so I'm not going to get paid anytime soon. But I know I have that as an asset and back in my mind that, hey, hey I have this asset. It's worth something. So in the future, uh, if there's an opportunity to monetize it in terms of creating ad revenue or, or creating games and you know stuff like that, I'm able to, I'm able to monetize my digital land. That will be awesome. But right now, I'm just going to hold it. I'm not going to sell, guys. I'm going to diamond hands this digital real estate uh, for a very long time, guys. So hope you guys learned something from this video, guys. Uh, I know there's a lot to it. I want you guys to kind of, again, do your research uh, and really look into these NFTs and these digital lands before you buy anything and really think about the projects that are going to be completed once this stuff goes live. So if you have any questions, guys, again, don't forget to ask down below in YouTube comments. And again, don't forget to subscribe down below and smash that like button. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys. How are you going?